Hello, my name is Hector Rubio and my video presentation is going to be about the New Deal and the labor movement. So the New Deal was, was in the years 1933 through 1937 and during these years FDR was president. Um, some of the things that happened within the New Deal were program changes, public work projects, financial reforms, and regulations. Um, the New Deal was also created by President Roosevelt, and again, it's from 1933 to 1939. Right here, we can see a picture of him, FDR. So first, before we talk about like the New Deal, we have to get to know the former president, which was President Hoover, who was, again, president before the New Deal was created, which he was one of the reasons the New Deal had to be created. So he was an engineer, businessman, and a politician. He was the 31st president from 1929 to 1933. And he is mostly blamed for causing the Great Depression. Um, one of the things he kept on saying during his speeches um, to give people hope, I guess, was he would say, prosperity is right around the corner. Basically telling people to just wait. It's going to get better soon. But with him during, with him during his presidency, that was not happening and that's when FDR had to step in. Um, so reasons why his plans didn't work. Um, Hoover was uh, Hoover wanted business to be self-regulated. So businesses for them to manage themselves in a way. Um, he had mania for a balanced budget. So that's like another problem why there was so much debt during that time. Um, he did not have much experience in political finesse, so pretty much he didn't know, like, the laws or how to make laws so they can help the U.S. and the community to have, like, better living experiences. In this slide, we are looking at what they call... Hoovervilles and they're pretty much slums created for like people who didn't have that much money so they had to go to these places to build houses and as you can see they're like built out of scraps pieces of wood metal and pretty much I guess you could call it trash um, so this is where a lot of people were living during this time and they were called Hoovervilles, kind of like to make fun of President Hoover. Like, Hoovervilles, they're fancy. It sounds like a fancy word, but no, it's like uh, slums, pretty much. So, uh, after the complete debacle by President Hoover, it caused the Great Depression. And the Great Depression was caused by a huge stock market crash in 1929. And the Dust Bowl in 1930 made it even worse. Um, they called the event Black Tuesday because it happened on a Tuesday. One of the blames was the increase of uneven distribution of wealth. And being able to purchase more power while... Others blamed the agriculture slums during World War One. So a lot of people, like the rich, kept their wealth, um, and then the poor were not able to get money because there were no jobs. Kind of like what we see in the picture here. Um, like that guy's sign says, "We demand work or wages." They were not getting enough money, 
and that uh, some I guess again that caused people to move have to move into Hoovervilles, which is the next little topic. Hoovervilles were made nicknamed after President Hoover. Um, uh, banks closed. They took more than 2.5 billion in deposits. So a lot of people had money in the banks. And since they closed down, they were not able to access the money, and the banks kept that money. Um, so Roosevelt called this the hear nothing, see nothing, do nothing government at this point, because that's all they were doing. They were like, I hear nothing. I don't hear that you're not getting money. Um, I see. I don't see you, so... I don't see like the signs you're holding up. Um, and again, the government's not doing anything. All right, so now we're going to talk about the next president, President Roosevelt, nicknamed FDR. Um, he was a politician. He is the 32nd president of the United States from 1933 to 1945 um he was born in january 30th 1882 he is the first president to serve more than two terms which i guess back then they weren't set laws about you can only do two terms so he did like about like three close to four um and again called Hoover's government the see nothing hear nothing government um he is best known for the help he did against the great depression and soon after creating the new deal so now i'm going to be talking about the new deal um during this point Former President Hoover lost by a landslide to the 32nd President FDR. So we can see by that with, with the community that nobody liked President Hoover. So I don't know why he ran again if he lost by such a big margin. And I also don't know how he thought he could have won again. Um... The New Deal aimed to achieve balance between the conflict of economic problems. Again, the economic problems were the Great Depression. That was like the what happened because of the economic problems. The New Deal is a domestic program that was implemented in the U.S. by President Roosevelt from 33 to 39. Um, was made in order to bring out economic relief after the travesty by President Hoover. Um, there was also relief slash reforms in agri agriculture, finance, water power, labor, and housing, and also increasing the activities of the government. So before the New Deal came along, there were problems in all these with agriculture, with finance, water power. Um, they had to re make new reforms for relief. And also, they didn't weren't <clears throat> much activities by the government. So this is what some of the things the New Deal helped fix. So a little bit more about the purpose of the New Deal. Um, so the main purpose was... For the New Deal is to heal the U.S. from the crisis that the Great Depression caused on the supervision of President Hoover, as well as to restore the bank crisis and restore stocks. Um, the workforce was unemployed. Um, the wages and salaries were at an all-time low, and production was too. This means this means the New Deal was made to provide immediate economic relief and bring about reform to make the economy economy stable. So when it came to relief, it was to provide jobs for the unemployed and to protect farmers from foreclosure. 
and recovery it's to get the economy econ economy back into high gear priming the pump um and reform it was to regulate banks to abolish child labor child labor was a huge problem back then and to conserve farmlands so the overall objective was to save capitalism so here my last slide i'm going to talk about was is was the new deal effective um so it did put people back into work um it saved capitalism and also restored faith in the american economy economic system and gave hope to americans um so some final thoughts about my video presentation um was the new deal a failure it has been believed to have been a failure since it protected the trust more than the people so back then you could create trust funds that could mature during the years um so i guess this deal protected those and not much of the people like how some a lot of the people lost a lot of money in the banks by the banks closing um also nowadays the poor are getting poorer and the trust are richer um the country is mostly controlled by trust so what are your thoughts um was the new deal helpful or did it create harm for the future today uh let me know your thoughts um again i hope you liked my presentation this was about the new deal and the great depression and here are my references and thank you guys for watching